Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the setup ESP32 command line compile environment. Okay. So first, uh, let's Google the ESP32 IDF. If you Google it, you can get the link like this. Uh, get start ESP32 programming guideline okay click this one and uh, click installation click installation so you will get the uh, windows installer or installer for the linux and the mac okay for our uh, video we use the windows installer click here and uh, click here, Windows Installer Download. Here we will have several uh, download link. So this one is uh, um, offline IDE uh, download version 4.4. 4. Okay. So this is uh, um, command line 4.4. Uh, 4.4. 4. 4. Here, this link is for GitHub, and we also have another link. So, click here. All available downloads. Uh, so, you will find another mirror link. This link is from the uh, ESP32 company. Uh, this is the download link. And this link is from the uh, GitHub. Okay. For our example, we use the uh, command line. Uh, we use this offline installer. Uh, offline installer. If you want to use the IDE, and you can use this one or this one. Uh, this one. This is the latest one. This is the latest one. The offline installer include everything we need for the compile. Okay. Uh, we click this one, mirror, it will download from the company uh, website. So this is uh, this is uh, uh, tools link. We download, we download it, we already download it here. Uh, we already download it here, ESP32 SDK. So this is uh, uh, tools, tools name. And after you download it, you double click it. Uh, double click it, it will run. Okay, so here we choose the English. Click OK. So here we accept the agreement. Click here and click Next. It will do some check, do some system check. Oh, here, check complete. And click next. So here is, uh, is choose the folder, which, uh, which the folder you want to install. Here, I want to install into here, ESP32 SDK. So copy and paste to here. Okay, copy and paste to here, and click next. So uh, here, the first one we need to choose the ESP IDF. The version is 4.4 here. Currently is 4.4. Uh, and uh, here we need we need to use the command line. So we need to choose this choose this uh, option. Okay. This is the driver for the USB. Uh, you can choose all, or you can you just uh, you can just uh, choose the first one. I already have the two driver in my computer, so I just uh, choose the first one. Here is the chip target. We choose all of it. Okay, we choose all of it. So click next. 
So here it will tell you uh, where is the tools. This is a JIT, and where is the uh, SDK. This is the IDF, and where is the uh, tools folder. Is will be installed here. Okay, so uh, we click install. So it will begin to install. Okay. Um, I just pause the video and wait it to finish the installation. Okay. So finally finish the uh, installation. Okay. Um, we uh, no need the PowerShell environment, so we can click this one. Command uh, command line uh, finish. So it will pop up the command line uh, interface here. And then let's take a look at the fo folder first. So and here this is our SDK uh, software framework. So this is uh, uh, IDF version. 4.4 and uh, we can new one folder to save our customized code my code okay and uh, inside the SDK we have the example folders we have the example folders we can uh, go into the get started uh, copy the hello world, copy it, and uh, copy it into our my code folder. My code folder, okay. And uh, uh, next, let's open our uh, Visual Studio Code. This is our Visual Studio Code, and we can uh, open our folder, hello world folder, open folder. Uh, to choose the ESP32 here SDK and the framework and the my call choose the hello world folder select the folder okay it will open the folder our call is here in inside the main folder and here, hello world, may.c, okay? So this is our code. This is our code. Uh, here we can remove the, disable the reminder, disable all the reminder. Okay, we save it. Okay, so here this is our call. We change a little bit here. Uh, it will print out the hello world, and I added uh, so my call. Okay, my call is here. Save it. So next step, we will compile the co compile the call and to see um, how it works. Compile the code and download the software on our board. Um, first, you need to uh, plug your ESP32 board uh, in your computer. Okay, so um, let's open our compile command compile environment. Okay, so this is our uh, command line uh, environment interface. Here, this is our folder. The so first thing is let's go into our Hello World folder, CD, and CD Michael, and CD Hello World. Oh, okay, so here, this is the uh, Hello World folder, Hello World folder, and uh, we um, the first step we need to. Um, Set the target, okay. 
So how we set the target? We use IDFPE set target ESP32. For my board, I use ESP32 C3. So we set the target as this one. So we set the target first. Okay, it will run it to do some um, processing to setting to do some setting. Okay. So initial some uh, module components some module components here. It will set the uh, software especially for the target ESP32 C3. So if your board is ESP32 or ESP32S, you need to change the target according to the CPU on your board. Okay. So this is the first step uh, to set the target. Uh, if you if you uh, take a look the uh, programming guideline, you also can get the steps. Uh, you also can get the steps. The first step okay is to set the target. The next step is to the manual config. Okay. Uh, for the Linux and the Mac OS is also the same. It's also the same. Set the target and do the manual config. Okay, let's take a look. It finish or not? Okay, it still it still do the uh, processing. Okay, okay. So uh, for the manual config, you can um, change some setting or just keep the default setting and save it. It will be fine. Okay. After this, you can use the uh, IDF Builder to compile the environment. IDF Builder to compile the you know, environment. Okay. To compile the code. To compile the code. IDF Builder. Uh, IDF Builder to compile the code. After this, so we use the Fresh to download the code. Uh, we use the Fresh to download the code. Use this command to download the code. Okay. Um, after this, we can use the uh, IDF monitor. Uh, IDF monitor. This is the monitor. Okay. IDF monitor to open the monitor to see the output information. Okay. To see the output information. Also, you can stop the monitor. So you can stop the monitor by uh, using this command. You can stop the monitor. You can this uh, control key at this one on your keyboard, okay, to stop the monitor. So um, let's take a look here. It it is still do the initialize, okay. So let me um. Pause the video. Wait it to finish the initialization. Okay, so finally, uh, it's done the config. So next step, let's do the uh, menu config. So IDF, uh, click this one. I IDF, IDF, uh, PE, menu config. Okay. So this is a manual config. For the Hello World project, we no need to change it. We just uh, press the S. S means save. Press S, save it. And uh, we press Q here. Press the Q and quit it. 
when we save it, we press the enter, and uh, then we press Q to exit it. Okay, so now we set the menu config file, and next we need to compile it. We use the IDF, IDF, mm, IDF PE builder. Okay, to compile all the code. To compile all the code. Okay, so now it's running, running the CMake. Okay, it also take a, a very long time. So I also uh, pause the video, wait it to finish to compile. Okay. Okay, so now it finished to compile. So next step, we need to download the bin file. Uh, download the bin file in our board. So we can use the IDF uh, this parameter to fresh. Or if your computer only have one uh, port, like me, uh, I only have one command four for our ball, so we can just uh, directly use uh, IDF uh, PE fresh. So it will automatically find the port to download the bin file into our ball. Okay, so here it's already find it. Okay, so it will automatically download it. Okay, so now it download it. So if in your computer you have several uh, USB to UR port, so you need to use like this P command four. Uh, in my computer is command four and fresh to download the software. So it also will download the software, okay? Okay, so it's download the software. So next, let's uh, open our monitor to see the output information. Uh, to see our output information monitor. Press enter. Okay, now it put it pop up the uh, information. Hello, Michael is here. Uh, okay, it will uh reset the system again and then I'll put it again. Hello, Michael is here. So this is our output information. We just uh, change it. Okay, so the next step, if you want to stop the monitor, uh, we we. Uh, we need to use this uh, shortcut. We need to use this shortcut. Control edit this one, okay, on your keyboard. So we can uh, stop it. Yeah, we stop it. Okay. So this is uh, 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 this is uh, ESP32 command line compile environment setup. And we also uh, compile the Hello World project, download it on our board, and uh, to see the output information. Okay, so this is this video. I'm Michael. Uh, see you next time.